Well, hello again, friends. Dave McDonald here once again for another exciting edition of Quarantunes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day today. I am ready to roll with you. Oh, my dog's coming up here. Apparently she wants to draw along with me. Hmm? I'm sorry you can't draw and you can't see her, but she's <laughs> all over my lap. How am I supposed to draw with a dog on my lap? <laughs> Hey, today we're going to have some fun because today is Mashup Day! Dun, 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 dun. Special effects and where's my sound effects, people? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> An out-of-tune kazoo to announce Mashup Day. Yes, putting two things together that don't belong. A character and maybe an activity today. A character that does not go with a certain activity. How does that sound? I got to thinking about a, a little uh, animal that lives nearby my house. Many of them around our house in the lakes. Alligators. <laughs> That's right. Alligators. Yes, we have some that live right around us here in the lakes. And so I thought I would draw one, not just swimming in the lake. That would be boring. We'll, do, we'll draw that character doing something different, something unusual for an alligator. He's going to be standing up on two legs, obviously. Personification, right? We talked about that. Personification, giving human qualities to things that aren't human. <laughs> Alligators aren't human. So let's see, for the start of this character, the head, let's start with a circle up here. For the base of the head, all right? Uh, a big oval for an eye, maybe another eye sticking out here. We always, you know, I typically draw these characters in what I call three quarter view. Three, let me draw that for you. Three quarter view, okay? And that means you're not looking straight at the character and you're not looking at their profile. You kind of see three quarters of their face. So that's kind of a, if you'll watch a lot of cartoons on TV and you read a lot of comic books, you'll notice that most of the time the characters are drawn in three-quarter view. It's more interesting to look at. Take notice of that next time. Three-quarter view. Okay, so there's the head. Let's see, he's got a long snout that comes out, so let's just use our um, curve line here. Maybe give him a snout with another curved line. And maybe he's got, just put an upside down letter U here. That'll be his nostril for here. And I keep changing the way I want to draw this snout. Did you notice that? <laughs> I can't make up my mind. But basically it's a curved line that comes down, goes back towards the main part of the head. He's going to be smiling because he's going to be enjoying his activity. So he's got his open mouth here. He's got, so we curve line, curve line, chin, curve line back up to the head. Okay. So that's kind of what our the basic shape of the head, right? Okay. Let's see. Make that kind of look like more like a boomerang, right? I'm not going to round it off. I'm going to bring it almost to a corner, almost like a letter V laying over. Coming over the top here, we'll do this. Give them some big eyebrows. All right, pupils will go in there. All right. Okay, his neck and let's see body go ahead and draw kind of a oval shape here now watch using that oval come around the front of the oval and go up to his tail the back we don't follow the line of the oval really we kind of cut into that 
and we kind of do that way see we could erase that later or we could erase it now just so you can see all right around his neck he's going to be wearing a scarf and I can see you're asking why would an alligator be wearing a scarf that's because he's ice skating <laughs> He's going to be ice skating. That's right. He's not an alligator. He's an Alice skater. <laughs> oh, do you hear the ducks flying over? <laughs> That's the sound effects department. They didn't get the sound of the alligator, so they brought in the ducks. <laughs> an Alice skater. That's kind of fun. Okay, so let's see. He's got his body, his tail. <laughs> okay, he's got one. Let's say he's got one skate down so there's his leg little like our elbow macaroni give him a boot with a basically a, a rectangle shape here and then the shape of a shoe see that okay and then coming off the bottom if you've never ice skated they have these little blades that are sharp but they allow you to skate across the ice and you can put lace you can get as detailed as you want you can put laces on them okay so there's our alligator with alice skater with his one foot like that and then maybe the other foot is just kind of behind him up in the air so go ahead and make that Again, that rectangle shape. I'm going to turn it this way to create the shoe, just like I did the other one. A little shorter. See, I draw very loosely. Two little sticks that come down, and the blade. Right? He's skating. He's an Alice skater. Oh, down his back, he's got those the alligator spine. All right, maybe some little markings. And let's see. He's, okay, we'll give him an elbow macaroni here he's using his arms to kind of give him momentum so he's got his arms kind of folded here so an elbow macaroni with a circle at the end and we can just give him mittens right mittens <laughs> His other one's out here, giving himself momentum again. Mittens. Ha! Mittens. Alley skater. <laughs> In the back, we've got the horizon line. Maybe there's a pine trees back there. Got the line of the skating. He's zooming along, so maybe there's motion lines coming off of him. Right? Awesome. Oh, remember how we put the banana peel in front of the dinosaur the other day? Maybe here what we'll do. Unbeknownst to him, the ice has cracked. <laughs> oh no, what's going to happen? <laughs> this could be bad. Make a little, so you do, just make a little square shape or just a, any old shape in here and create kind of a, a break in the ice. Make it kind of sharp angles with little cracks leading off of it. Right? He doesn't see what's going on here. 
nice ice except for that one spot right Put these little lines here show that it's ice <laughs> all right let's get to inking our alley skater <laughs> all right so let's see Eyeballs, nice big ovals, and pupils with the little reflection. Fill in. Maybe make that snout a little bumpy. Right? A little bumpy, a little ridgy. I think that's an official term to describe the alligator. Ridgy. <laughs> All right. Nice smile. He's got some, some teeth in here. teeth. All right, let's see. Okay. There we go. And just a scarf effect here. As if he tied it up. These are just like little triangles, really, that come off and form the scarf. Maybe we'll put stripes on it, All right? Okay, let's see the belly. All right, the arm, arm. Mitten. Okay. And another elbow macaroni here. Mitten. And then down the back with our triangles, right? Triangles. And okay, we're moving along. This is going pretty well, isn't it? How's your alley skater going? <laughs> Is he skating? In this case, skating on thin ice. Have you ever heard that expression before? Maybe mom or dad can help explain what that is. You don't want to be skating on thin ice. <laughs> Either literally or figuratively. These are hockey skate style as opposed to figure skating. So uh, maybe my alligator plays hockey. Maybe next time we can put a hockey stick in his hand. Put some shadow back here on that leg that's on the other side of the character. Forms a little shadow there. Uh, 
that's kind of fun. Okay, let's see, another skate. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing here. While I'm over here, might as well draw. My little background there. And we've got The reflection of the nice shiny ice and then unfortunately for him or her a crack in the ice I find it hard to believe that he wouldn't see that <laughs> Got the water on the inside. When we color that, it'll probably come out a lot better. That would be dark. This is the edge of the ice here. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Ocean lines. All right, and then my other my number eight for our motion lines on the back. Straight lines that come off. With curved lines through them, straight lines. And there he is. Let's get some erasing going. Now I had originally planned to put in a little bird here, but I'm running out of time. I was going to have a bird up here on a branch talking to the alley skater <laughs> and the bird was going to be saying that's an ice gator ice gator ice gator ice you get it <laughs> an ice gator <laughs> silliness yep you come here for drawing and you get your silliness for free right no extra charge. <laughs> oh boy. I can't apologize for my silliness. Hey, it's what makes me who I am, right? That's what I like doing. Being funny. Having fun. Making myself laugh. Maybe making you laugh in the process. Drawing fun characters. Yep. All right, now that's a lot of erasing. Hopefully I, hopefully I got all of it. Where's my little broom? Clean it all off. There he is. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. We could put this little, add one little thing here. Just come down with a curved line that goes under him. Give him that belly, right? Just an option. Don't have to. Maybe a little shadow. See how I like to go back in and mess around with the lines. Add some details, fun little things. Let's see, what else? I don't know. There's a lot of little... A lot of fun you can have with this. I can't wait to, to color this one. That's an ice gator. Ice gator. Ice gator. <laughs> oh, just like the ice, I crack myself up. <laughs> Hope you had fun drawing your ice gator. Okay. Well, until next time. <laughs>
be well, stay safe, and take care of one another. All right, bye-bye.